boy. Yeah, you ready for your trimming? Good boy. Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to trim the Pomeranian's ears and the chest area, just in the head area. There we go. Okay, Pomeranian's ears are supposed to be more rounded or more flat and not pointy like his ears are. And this is just a pet Pomeranian. So his ears are actually pretty big for a Pomeranian, but he's a big boy anyways. So you want to just get all the hair out of the way so you can see the tip. Just use your fingertips and find where the actual tip of the ear is. And it's right here. So you got lots of hair there. And you can just take your small scissors and just kind of cut right across. Not really, you're not really going to round the ear, you're just doing like the tip. Like that. And obviously do it to the other ear. So that would be the first step. Tip is here. The idea is trying to uh, make the ear look smaller. There, so I did the tips. He's got all this fuzz here. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the back of his head. Okay, so he's got all this excessive hair here that I want to make round into a nice ball. He's got very fine hair. It falls, it doesn't really stand up. So I'm just gathering his ear in my hands and just taking off all this excessive hair here. Now you have to keep going back and forth because there's always going to be stick outs. Come here. Okay, I'm going to take this off and hopefully he'll stay there. Okay, you can see all that fuzzy hair there. That I want to take off. All this stuff here. So I'm just trying to get a round effect here. He's got a lot of hair. There, it looks a little bit better, less, less wild. I just comb everything forward here. And basically what you want to do is um, Kind of hide the ears, like make the ears blend into the head. But when they got such big ears, it's kind of hard to do. So, and you want his ears to go up so you can look at them. Okay, let me see. Okay, now that I did that part, I want to blend in his um, chest or bib. So you want to make sure the hair is all combed through. You can get the comb right through. I'm going to turn them to the side so you can see. There, baby. And actually, I am going to use my chunkers. They cut really good. And it uh, really makes a nice, nice texture. And, you know, if it doesn't, if it's too choppy looking, you can go over it with your thin and shears. I'm just making this round. And you can just keep checking.
that. Now I'm going to go over my work. Now you can comb pomeranians all day and you're always going to get something that sticks out. There. Alrighty. So I never, never shave a pomeranian because they can get uh, alopecia. It ruins the coat. You're not supposed to really cut the undercoat. But on the chest, the rump, the feathering, the underbelly um, is fine to cut. Just they have a lot of guard coat on their back. And once you cut that, it really ruins it and it doesn't, you know, grow in nice. And you want the coat to look nice. So this is, this part here is okay to trim. So I did the ears and the chest. i got to fix the sides here. Come here. And there, he looks much better than before. Come here, here, smile. Just cut a little bit of that off. Yeah, the chunkers are amazing, especially on uh, Pomeranian coats. It looks really nice. There you go, alrighty. So anyways, you got the idea. make the ears round on top and try to blend it in with the top of the hair. I know you'd like to take my hand like this and you know push everything up so I can see. And I'll be going over again with them just keep on going over it. It's just hard for me to do it with the camera right there in, in the middle of my my space. So there you go. Hope you like my videos and give me a thumbs up. Comment if you like and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.